Hello everyone, this is Lillian and it's time for our three minutes with the word audio devotional. Today's topic is can he ride on your prayer shawl? And our anchor scripture is taken from the book of Mark chapter 11 and verse 7. The disciples brought the colt to Jesus and piled their cloaks and prayer shawls on the young donkey and Jesus rode upon it. My dear listeners, I've taken the last three weeks off to refresh and to seek the face of God for myself and for the devotional, and I am glad to announce that regular recordings have resumed from today. I thank from the depth of my heart all those who reached out to me and encouraged me in the time that I was away. May the Lord bless and reward you all in Jesus' name. In our anchor scripture, the Bible, and by the way, I read from the Passion Translation, describes the scenario that we we usually will refer to as the triumphant entry of Jesus into Jerusalem, a prophetic action that fulfilled the prophecy written years and years before Christ in Zechariah 9, 9. The Bible says that Jude rode on a colt or Jesus, sorry, rode on a colt or a donkey and people piled their cloaks and their prayer shawls on this donkey and on the ground for Jesus to ride on. This morning, my question to you is this. Can Jesus ride on your prayer shawls? A lot of Christians spend the whole of January praying and fasting and seeking the face of God for the new year. And in my opinion, once done with understanding, this is a fantastic tradition to have. But can Jesus interrupt your private list? Can Jesus interrupt your private prayer list? When last did you pray a prayer that was given to you by the Spirit of God? Or is your prayer always about me, me, me? This morning, God is encouraging us to surrender even our prayer lives to him. There are people who God can trust with the destinies of other people. Can you be one of such people? Can God show you things about people and you will take it upon yourself to intercede for them and not run around town gossiping or sharing the secrets God will show you? Can God show you the secrets of nations and trust you to pray until revival happens? Do a quick audit of your prayer life. How much of praying do you do for people outside of your immediate circle? A while ago, the Lord spoke to my heart about this kind of thing. And he instructed me never to lead a prayer meeting without asking for his agenda for that meeting. Since that instruction came, I don't lead any prayer, even my family prayer meeting, without asking God for his agenda. When we surrender our prayer points to God, we are assured of speedy and great great victories. The one who answers wants to tell you what to ask. It's like an examiner giving you the questions to a test he set beforehand and telling you what to write. Your success is guaranteed, of course. The Bible tells us that as humans, we are so limited that we do not know how to pray as we ought. Prayer is not an activity of the flesh. You can pray wrong and you can pray amiss. But when the judge of the whole earth is Lord over your prayer life, you can be sure that you will excel in the enterprise of prayer. Our anchor scripture shows us that the disciples on that day laid down their clothes and their prayer shawls for Jesus to ride on. It is still early in the year. Can you make it a habit? So ask the Lord, what would you have me pray for? And watch what God will do with your prayer life. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much for your word. Lord, we surrender our prayer lives to you. Give us your prayer points and the grace to prosecute your own prayer agenda in our secret places. Continue to take all the glory, almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Speak to you again soon. If you are blessed, please drop me a line on audiodevotional at yahoo.com or on our website at www.3minutesaudiodevotional.com. You could also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter at 3 Minutes Audio Devotional. Remember, wrapped up in God's word is all you need for your change to come. Love you and bye.